Moving on to the last presentation of this group, the Python, mentored by Mr. Hardik Gagara and project in charge is Mr. Kiran Kishore. The goal of the project was to enhance the current Python textbook companion interface so that a user can not only refer to the codes of a particular TBC but also execute them on the go. A user should also be able to comment or report any issue in the code for a particular example from any sub submitted TBC. All the implementation had to be done keeping in mind the Python TBC submissions are in the form of IPython notebooks. The team is here, so let's start. Good afternoon everyone, respected sir. Myself Devashish Dev from NIT Arunachal Pradesh along with my project partner Prince Bansal from JP Institute of Information Technology, NOIDA. We belong to the FOSI group and the project that we were assigned to was the Python textbook companion. Talking about the textbook companion activity, I think many of the guys out here don't know what it is. The basically speaking, the textbook act, uh, companion activity basically aims to port out all the solved examples from the standard textbooks using free and open source software. What we do in case of the Python textbook companion is that we port out all the solved examples from the standard textbooks and using Python and make them available to everyone in our Python TBC website. So as, the, so as such others can refer to it. The main objectives of our project was to review the existing Python textbook companion. This ex uh, consisted of uh, checking out if whether all the existing things may, met all the specified guidelines and the second objective of ours was to develop an interface that will allow the users to execute the Python code for a solved example online. Currently what we were doing was just hosting the IPython notebooks. Uh, the user end user was not able to execute the code online. He could only view the source code of that, uh, those solved examples. With this objective we had to develop an interface such that the user would be able to execute the code online on, uh, on the website itself and replace or edit the variables as such required. And the third objective of us was to create a discussion forum such so that uh, related queries or bugs can be reported as such for each solved examples. Talking about the existing projects, currently what was going on behind the uh, Python textbook companion that is as such I had already told that it is this a repository to the, which contains all the solved examples already coded in Python. Currently what was going on was that uh, the existing website in the existing website whenever a user uh, queried for some books the particular IPython notebook was fetched and it was converted into HTML and it was directly presented to the user. The, this finally presented view to the user had no interactive options likewise there was no link to any discussion for our, um, moreover there were no reporting to a bug issues anything or likewise there was no option to execute the Python code also he could only cut paste or copy paste those codes from the uh, static page and run it on his own machine. And user were also not able to uh, comment or uh, report a bug related to any issues as such because there was no discussion forum related to it. Talking about the, the existing project was sim uh, something like this, the Python TBC website. Here the, for a simple book we have all these chapters out there in the uh, listed in the left hand side and their download link, corresponding download links in their right hand side. While opening a book we could get a page like this which is purely HTML without any interactive buttons anything. We could only just copy paste the things and then I would like my teammate to continue with the rest of the things. So the major steps of the project are review of the IPython books, IPython notebook UI changes, IPython notebook server deployment setting up the server yeah. and setting up crude environment in CentOS 6.5. Let's discuss one by one. First, review of IPython books. We started implementing our project by first starting with the review of IPython books. The review must contain the following things. First, to check whether the existing IPython follow the certain, certain guidelines or not. The guidelines are as follows. The, all the headings are in the format H1 and all the subheadings are in the format H2 or H3. We check all the formulas while using the inbuilt function, for example, the angle must be converted into degrees while using sine and cosine functions. Every chapter should be an individual IPython format and all the plots must be named with their appropriate essays. Now, we have removed all the problem statement from all the chapters. This was done so as to prevent the copyright infringement 
So now the new IPython notebook only contains the chapter name, example number, page number, along with the solve examples. We have removed all the solve examples by using the script in Python, which was especially retained by us for removing these problems. Now, after the review, we modified the existing user interface of IPython notebook. We add the appropriate link next to each forum for reporting or discussion, if any. We add the link by using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. We use the NV iProfile server of a IPython. All the changes that are introduced in the IPython notebook server with the rest of the configuration of the IPython notebook server. We made the following changes in the folder containing the custom.js and custom.css files and injected all the code to get the desired output. Now I saw this is the new IPython interface. There are the links with images. Find any queries or problems. Then it's simple writing how to change the values and write the, write the comment. Then the value corresponding to that comment is stored in a database along with chapter number, page number, and example number. And then this pop-up window patch all the comments from database. We have made all these changes in the IPython notebook user interface. Now I call the devices. I'll be talking about the IPython notebook deployment because what we are doing actually is that the actual TBC Python website will be the same. And in that HTML, static HTML page, we will be adding an option with, uh, which will lead us to that new server which will be hosting that our actual IPython server where the, uh, where the online editing of that code will take place. So for that we uh, as such we created and uh, we chose a uh, virtual server for us and then we use CentOS 6.5 uh, as the OS and then uh, as such because we were implement at uh, trying to make an attempt to implement an online python server there were there could be any uh, uh, malicious activities that could take place in that uh, online python interpreter so as such we had to take proper uh, security measures so as to limit those things as such we in those in the centos 6.5 we use a we use the ch root environment so as to limit the uh, uh, access to all the root files basically what the ch root does is it changes the apparent root directory from that is what you are saying is that there is a button some icon there which i press it executes that script yes sir okay, but you in your presentation you said i can edit it yes sir and you have said that i have to change root so that i have malicious things are stopped yes sir so for editing if i can edit it I need an execute button. Where is that execute button? That execute button is right there. Up in that, there is a play button. Up there, you can see. In the, there's a toolbar on the top side. You, you can edit that live on that code block. You edit that and press that, uh, click that, uh, click on that play button and that the modified changes will be displayed below that. All right.